I felt very devastated and depressed because my dreams were dashed and I put a lot at stake, you know. Body stability, smooth triggering, follow through and breathe. If you want to help me pack next time, it has to be like this. So I always have to make sure all my equipments are in this order, in this place. It cannot be mixed up, okay? Hey everyone, it's 8am in the morning and it's time for my morning drink, Milo. I don't take caffeine because it messes up with my heart rate. So when my heart rate is messed up, my breathing is messed up, and then my shooting focus will also be messed up. It's funny how a little drink can mess things up. Anyway, cheers! I call myself a perfectionist. Um, I won my first Gold Cup medal at the age of 14 years old. And because of this, it set the bar very high for me. I had very high expectations of myself. And I was so young, I didn't know how to cope with all these expectations and pressure. And there was not many people I could turn to for help. All I wanted to do was to just keep winning because that's the only thing I wanted to do. I'm not able to win every single competition. There will definitely be ups and downs. And I just had to accept it as how it is. So I put a part of my life on hold for two years, taking a break from school so I can fully focus on preparing for major international competitions. But whatever I prepared for did not happen. I felt quite depressed and devastated knowing that I have put in so much effort and it didn't happen. On the way to your winning moments, you've definitely struggled a lot that no one sees. Social media doesn't see it, the media doesn't see it. I talked to my coach about it, I talked to my sports psychologist about it and they reminded me that you know I have bigger things ahead of me. So since then, I am learning to look at things from a long-term perspective. While it is nice to win, um, it is definitely the losing moments that have brought you up to that platform. So in shooting, a bullseye is the size of a period on a newspaper. So imagine having to shoot that 40 times or 60 times. It can get quite uh, repetitive, but that's how we achieve the perfect shot. We do a lot of heart rate management, visualization, and deep breathing exercises to just help us master this skill. We are not like any other sport that requires a lot of explosiveness, but rather we are supposed to remain calm and composed. Just like the confidence I need in shooting, it is invisible to the human eye. It is a quiet inner confidence that requires a lot of you know, self-awareness to just cultivate. It is just like the beauty in women, it is more than meets the eye. Okay, let's go. So hi everyone, today I'll be showing you two exercises which is very good for your core. The first exercise will be the crab reach. So first, you go onto your mat, put, lay your arms and your feet out. Make sure your arms are directly below your shoulder. And I'm gonna demonstrate how this will go. First, get your left arm and stretch to your right side and then you do the same on the other side right to your left and left to your right this will go on for about the next 45 seconds in this exercise you have to make sure that your core and your glutes is strengthened and make sure that you're doing it in a slow and consistent way not doing it too fast because that will just defeat the purpose of this exercise so do everything in a slow controlled movement this is especially good for those of you who work at home because if you sit for too long on your chair, you just need to move about. 
Five seconds. Last one. One second. Okay, done. Next, we'll be doing the forearm plank, but this time with a little bit of a twist. We're gonna do toe touches as well. So get into your plank position. Make sure your arms are parallel to each other and your foot straight. Make sure you're not going too low or having your buttocks too high. So, your left foot will go to the left side of the mat and your right foot go to the right side of the mat. Let's go. One, two, three. Make sure your core is tightened at all times. And also make sure your glutes is also engaged. Halfway there, come on, let's go. You're almost there. Make sure your butt is still intact, not too high, not too low. Three, two, one. Okay, good job everybody. Thanks for joining me today on doing two exercises, which is also very beneficial for your core. As a sport shooter, the core is very important to me because it gives me a strong foundation as I have to stand long hours at the shooting range. So, thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Bye!